Okay. I'm going to call the meeting to order December 8th, 7 p.m. of the Sanborn Regional School District Budget Committee. We'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, we have a physical quorum present. Um, Dan Guide, Christine Kuzmitsky, Annie Collier, Jamie Fitzpatrick, and Ken Anthony. We also have via Zoom, we have Courtney Hewitt, our vice chair. Courtney is ill and can't be infecting everybody. So we miss you, Courtney, but we're glad you could join us. And then I understand that both Vanessa Matias and, do I say that right? Good. And um, Ken McNulty are planning to join via Zoom, but we're waiting to make sure that we hear from them. We haven't heard their voices yet but they may be joining us. So the first order of business is considering budget recommendation from the school board. Jamie, would you like to give us that recommendation? Yeah, so the, the school board got together last night and basically reviewed the information that the administration put together based upon the feedback from this committee last week. So they presented the school board the following. They took the money that was originally being taken out of salaries and they were requested, I, I think uh, Mr. Guide had requested um, last week that they find another account to take that out of. They took that out of the um, health benefits account and they provided data sets to show that there's been an excess in the health benefit account for the past three years and also that it was currently running at about a $700,000 surplus for this year. So they're comfortable taking it out of that account. The amount they took out was roughly 91,000. They did not take out the other 10,000. So that's in effect adding 10,000 to the recommended budget that was originally presented to the budget committee. Uh, they did talk about uh, Mr. Anthony's question as to what would we do if we didn't do that and the answer was uh, that would just come out of health care also if, if you didn't make that adjustment uh, that was put to the board after uh, a number of discussions and the board had a vote on that that recommendation to this sub to this committee the budget committee was a, a seven to zero vote the original yeah unanimous vote the original recommendation to this committee was a five to two vote so with that adjustment um, all seven of the board members voted to recommend the budget that we're here talking about tonight to the budget committee, okay. which is dollar wise, $10,000 more than the other one. Account wise, the dollar amounts coming from the unfilled positions are no longer coming from those unfilled positions. Those dollar amounts were put back into those unfilled positions and the dollar amounts are coming out of the healthcare accounts. Um, and then that 10,000 that was discussed at our meeting last time is in the budget for saws and so forth. Shop and automotive. Um, there's, there was discussion about small engine repair yep. um, and, and work on that. And then I think a lift was involved and a saw is involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was, there, Kelly. was there also an adjustment to the default budget, which you, the default budget for our viewers sake is the school board's budget. The operating budget that's being proposed to the voters comes from the budget committee. School board recommends to us and then we decide. The fall did not change. It didn't. Mm -hmm. It must have did changed. It? Yes. We Where took out change? SST. No, from the from the recommended budget that came okay. to this board the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah. The default yeah. didn't You're change right. You're right. last time. But the Correct. default had to Correct. have changed by 101,000. No, it's just 91,000. Different accounts. Same 91, amount. 91,000. Oh, 100. Different line items, but the total amount of the default, same number. Okay. So the proposed is 10,000 higher, but the default didn't change with that proposal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the, the bottom line, the net net default number didn't change. The line items within the default changed, but the, the net net did not change. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you if got hand over here. Yes. I'm sorry. Jamie, could you repeat what you said about the, the shot and the um, auto shot? God only knows. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there was the $10,000, as Mr. Ambrose uh, described it. He has some monies he's going to spend this year and some monies next year, but all told with $10,000 extra, he's going to be able to cover activities for both the shop and automotive. Those activities include um, small engine repair, lift, car lift, and saws. Yeah. Okay, great. If anybody is comfortable, um, I know last time I felt that there was a, plenty of money in the budget and I wasn't necessarily comfortable with where it was coming from as far as the suggestion that it come out of salaries, but I knew there was money there. Now we know, and I can tell you, I've looked at 20 years of budgets. There's been health insurance extra in every one of them um, over the years. There's always been um, extra just in case. So there is there is money there. If anyone is comfortable, I'd like to entertain a motion to uh, to recommend that budget to the voters as our budget. Can I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Thank you. So that's from Dan. Can I have a second, please? I'll second it. Okay, Ken. We have discussion. Yes. I just want one thing I didn't mention that I should have is there was a lot of discussion on this, and, and a number of board members made the comment that. There's still plenty of money in the budget to, to be able to get the 10,000 without making an adjustment to the budget. But the discussion everybody had was our perception on the school board was the budget committee's perception, uh, comments, the, the, the sense of the committee was they'd really like to add that back in, that this committee really wanted the 10,000 added back in and they wanted the line item change. So, the discussion was, if this is going to help with the collaboration between the two boards, then we're okay with the $10,000 adjustment, even though the points were made in the meeting that we don't really think we need to make a 10,000, there's enough money. But in a sense of collaboration between the two boards, those members said that we're going to go ahead and do this because we think this is the sense of the BUDCOM from watching the BUDCOM. Okay, thank you. Activity. Any other comments? I would be one of those who would agree with those sentiments that there's plenty of money I was in also. there. <laughs> but I'm very much in favor. 10,000 is not something I think it's, you know, we talked last time about optics. And I think that supporting our shop program is an important thing to do. And obviously there's That's some necessary. need there. And um, I think it's important to collaborate as much as possible for something that you know, is so important for our kids to get their education. Um, 10,000 isn't like a killer deal to me. <laughs> so um, just like I said last time, 300,000 that I think is extra. I just don't want to see a year end spending spree, but I think there's extra money in there. There's room for emergencies and mm -hmm. things to be handled within, within our operating budget. Any other comments? There being none, Courtney? Uh, yep, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Tom, Matt, and the school board for taking the feedback, um, and Dan for the guidance last meeting. Um, I really think that we've came come to a, a, a good uh, common ground, <clears throat> uh, and I appreciate the data that came through. Um, and I do think that giving the $10,000 to help develop future community members um, is is a, a good thing. So thank you to everyone for the work over the past week. That's great. That's great. Um, do we have either Ken or Vanessa with us? I think Just, Vanessa was trying to log on. Okay, so we're going to have a roll call vote. Um, I'll start with you, Courtney. How the the proposal is to move the um, recommended budget that the school board has sent us as our budget. Yes, I vote in favor of the the recent update with the nine pulling it from insurance and the ten thousand towards the shop. <clears throat> so you're voting in favor. In favor. Dan? Aye. In favor. And Ken? Aye. Jamie. Aye. And I'll vote aye. So that would be unanimous. 
I think Ken and Ken Vanessa are on Vanessa. there. Are Ken and Vanessa on? Ken, are you on? I can't hear you. If if you can hear, but can't speak, <laughs> can you send Annie a text saying yes or no? I don't have I don't have my phone with me. Just have him put it in the chat. I think he put, yeah, it, in put it in the chat. Yeah, we could yeah, put it in the chat. All right, so this says, I can, can you so it just, says, I can hear Mike isn't working, but we haven't heard a yes or a no on the vote. We need a yes or a no, Ken. Yes, we're going to accept your vote by chat. Yes, yes, yes. Well, if so, I vote no. Ken's a no. Ken's a no. Okay. Um, we didn't get any comments from him, so we don't know why. Um, is Vanessa on? Okay. So the budget is moved um, and approved to be presented to the voters by a vote of six to one. Correct. Um, at this point, um, what I'd like to do is not move on minutes because we have, you know, a, a short meeting here potentially. What I'd like to do is find out if the committee members will allow a subcommittee of members to put together the presentation for the public hearing. We have a presentation that Matt and I put largely together and um, we'd like to fine tune it or totally change it or do whatever, but I'd like to get a subcommittee because Christine's gonna be leaving so we will no longer have a quorum. So it'd be a subcommittee of people to put it together. Is that, is that, is the committee okay with that? Okay. Yep. I couldn't hear that. So he has comments that this is Ken. Yeah. He yeah. has comments that he wants to verbalize, but he can't do it through the chat. So he wants to verbalize it later. Well, there'll be an opportunity after the public hearing to do that. Um, because after the public hearing and we hear from the public, then we vote again on the budget. So um, and whether we're moving it forward or we're changing it. So that'll be good. Um, Okay. Just for clarification. Yes. That would be not during the public hearing. The public no. hearing is one meeting and then there's and a budget committee right after. Okay. Right. Yeah. The hearing. Yeah. Just to clarify from last year. We, it's, because we've always done the public hearing. And last year, the budget bond started to have a meeting after the public hearing that wasn't a noticed meeting. And I, I'm not comfortable with ending an right. unnoticed meeting. So, so it's totally fine. They get guidance that it is totally fine to have the public hearing and we send out the notice for the public hearing. Send out a notice that there'll be a bud comment. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. We'll okay, that's it. great. Thank you. Or it could be even on the stage. It's okay. The location, as long as it's public, and yep. it's totally fine yep. to just have it right in the auditorium. The public okay. So that being the case, um, is it? Is it the sense of the committee that it's okay for me to appoint a subcommittee um, to work together um, after this meeting is adjourned on our That's fine. Is that okay? It's fine. Okay. Then I'm going to adjourn this meeting and invite any members who wish to stay, with the exception of Christine, who has to leave, and we need her to leave so we don't have a quorum. <laughs>